Welcome to the Overcoming Low Self-Esteem Podcast. This podcast is designed to teach you about self-esteem, how we get low self-esteem, what triggers it, what can come from it if we don't heal from it, and of course, how to overcome it. If you enjoy this podcast, please do us a huge favor and rate, subscribe, and share this podcast. Please rate and comment. We love your feedback. Your feedback is important to us, and we want to make this podcast a podcast that heals and touches the world. If you have questions, if you have suggestions, if you have ideas, please email us at overcoming at V-A-T-S-J-R dot com. That's overcoming at V-T-H-E-A-T-S-J-R dot com. That also be in the notes. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. Hi, welcome back to the Overcoming Low Self-Esteem Podcast. Today's topic is becoming aware that your loved ones want to control you. I know it's a hard pill to swallow and no one wants to admit it, but it's a reality for many people. The people in your life, the people who love you, will protect you to keep you where you are. I know. The people in your life, the people who say I love you, the people who say I will do any and everything for you, really are protecting you to keep you where you are. Now, again, this is not everybody in your life, but there are some people, somebody popped in your head as I was saying that. Someone wants to love you so much that they will love you to a comfort zone that doesn't belong to you. Someone will love you so much. They will protect you from going after your dreams because they were scared to go after theirs. Someone loves you so much. They want to keep you right where you are. And it's time out for that. It's time out for allowing other people to control who you are. And it's okay. It's okay to recognize that. It's okay to tell some family members, I can't deal with you anymore. It's okay to tell some friends who have been there since day one that actually, no, you're not a good friend. You're not serving me. And I can no longer participate in this friendship. It's okay. But the first thing you have to do is accept them for who they are. Uh, People don't like doing that because we see potential and we go after potential, but we forget to accept people for who they are today. And people in your lives are not accepting your potential. They are accepting, keeping you hostage, keeping you in prison in your own low self-esteem and you are worthy of more than that you don't have to wake up every day you don't have to go to work every day you don't have to suffer in a marriage every day because you have low self-esteem you deserve more and I don't believe we were created we were put on this earth The universe didn't align the stars and the moon and everything to give birth to you for you to die in low self-esteem because you are surrounded by people who probably have low self-esteem themselves. Don't get confused by people's fast words and loudness and flamboyance. People are suffering just like you. Don't let other people keep you in prison that you no longer fit in. Enjoy today's show. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating for separatism. I'm not saying being by yourself, that's ineffective. Neither am I telling you go get a divorce. That could be damaging and ineffective. I am telling you that if you need to change, the time is to change now. And during that change, the person needs to change with you or Everyone in your life is suspicious. Everyone. Make sense? Okay, one more thing. Which one of you are brave enough to open up without names 
please, without names, <laughs> brave enough to open up and identify or relate with what I just said, how you discovered, oh, as you change, you realize how that person really was never there for you. They only wanted to control you. Doesn't matter who the person is. Since, um, Just no names. Oh, no problem. Sweet. When I decided to change, there was a whole, not even a whole section, like every person that was in my life at that time, I started noticing things and as I started noticing things they weren't positive things I was picking up on verbiage that was used when in conversations with me I was picking up on body language that was used when conversing with me um, the facial expressions because I was so low for so long they learned me better than I knew myself Wow! so they knew when to you got to do this. Do it this way. Because if you don't do it this way, you're going to get walked all over on. Or they knew when to... Let me talk to you for a second. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. But. But. <laughs> let me help you out. Yeah. You got to do this. You got to do it. Like they knew how to get to me. They knew how to talk to me. But when I started changing and decided not to talk to them, I started... Either they just fell off, they either stopped calling, or they got aggressive. Mm. And so it's, and, and as that transition was happening, also transitioned to a different group of friends at the same time. Who, you got this, and that was it. Yeah. Yay, go! That was it. At my lowest points, Come on, girl. You know you got this. Why are you tripping? It's in. You got it in you. What are you scared of? You got this. Like, it was always positive talk instead of, you got this, but. So it, I, I even removed myself from the geographic location of these people. Yeah. And once I did that, I felt a weight lifted off me. Yeah. That makes total sense. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Can we clap? Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome. Surely you have your own story. Will we be sharing this time? Mm -hmm. Okay, not this time. So she knocked it out the park. We're sharing a little bit. Okay, that was just a general conversation about low self-esteem. This you guys just without without professional or scientific knowledge knocked it out the park you came from the heart and now I'm able to help others but thank you both because that was amazing and people out there needed to hear it we struggle this is a struggle this is a, this is definitely a struggle you miss out on you when you're not in the right self-esteem so what is low self-esteem let's define low self-esteem 